Today I'm going to show you a quick setup guide for the Samsung devices. First, you start with installing Vive app to your smartphone. At the time of recording, we have just released our new beta program, which will allow Viveflow to work on phones that runs Exynos platform. Please note that like other beta programs from Google Play Store, it may take some time before you receive beta version. Alternatively, you can follow the link included in the description to obtain the app that we can install directly. This means that many users with Samsung phones carrying Exynos platform will now be able to enjoy the best of what Viveflow has to offer. Open the Vive app and you will see the option of Viveflow. Let's select and begin. There are four steps to the setup. First, you'll be asked to sign in to your Vive account. You'll also be asked to see if you would like to submit any usage report. This is to help us better understand how we can optimize your user experience. First, plug in your device to any viable power source. Now the following permission related steps are the ones that may be different from the typical step. So follow through with the tabs here. Users will first need to grant the location access. This is necessary to activate your phone as controller interaction through Bluetooth between the phone and Viveflow. Just select pair for the pairing request. Next up, you'll need to select grant on the accessibility service option. This can be found through install services, Vive, on and off, then allow. This allows Viveflow to properly recognize not only the change of direction, but also the gesture when you are using your phone as your Viveflow controller. Navigate through menu, then select Vive. You will see that accessibility service is granted. The next step is to modify the system setting. Select on, back to Vive. This is so that when you want to watch any of your phone content on a huge 200 inch screen, Vive can help activate the smart view automatically instead of taking off your glasses for manual control. The record audio capability is used for speech to tech interaction, just like assistance. Vive app next will do a system check to see if phone screen casting can perform properly. Next up, joining the Wi-Fi. If you don't find your Wi-Fi listed, the easiest way is to connect through your Wi-Fi hotspot for your smartphone. Just follow through the following steps. Five gigahertz Wi-Fi is used to minimize the interference with other devices. Go ahead, select your controller preferences. From now on, your phone's Vive remote mode will be automatically switched on whenever your Vive flow is on. The last part are permissions about notification so that you can see them properly inside Viveflow. Go to setting, Vive, allow. None of the information is recorded or sent out from your phone. Go ahead, go back to Vive and go ahead, accept the corresponding permission. Then you'll be guided through the gift page health and safety, and diopter dial, which are exactly the same as the generic setup guide. 